All right, so in this tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you how to create uh, this kind of geometry. Uh, this will be a tutorial based uh, almost completely in Grasshopper. Uh, since actually I wanted to show you how, how uh, to achieve this effect and how uh, we can actually randomize uh, all these uh, construction elements here. Uh, so as you can see, this is uh, this is a building that is made out of these thin layers, and each layer has uh, their own supports, and uh, that's how it's uh, stable. So all the way until the top, and then the way that we are gonna approach this is by first uh, modeling the the overall shape of the of the church, and then uh, we're going to extract these lines from from um, from from there and then we're gonna see how we can automate this in grasshopper and create uh, this kind of um, geometry there so let's let's start first thing I'm going to uh, do is I'm going to import uh, this image here so that uh, we can roughly model model this uh, I'm gonna approximately change now uh, the location and this should be something around 20 okay so I just wanted to know the scale maybe a little bit less okay something like this so I'm going to go to the front view I'm going to turn on the transparency here so that I see what I'm doing and I'm gonna lock this and now I'm just gonna quickly model this uh, it the tutorial is not gonna be based on the modeling techniques but rather on the uh, grasshopper definition so I'm just gonna go and speed up the video now All right, so the model is uh, finished. Uh, it's not as perfect as I thought it would turn out, but for this tutorial, it's it's okay. So uh, now let's um, let's unlock this and delete it. And now uh, what we want to do is try to boolean union. And let's do merge all surfaces to see if yeah if everything's clean. Okay. So now what we want to do is actually use a command that it's called contour. And we're going to say we want this object to be um, to be uh, cut. And now we need to say the base point is to be this one. And uh, now we need to say the distance. We're going to say 20. Uh, OK, it's too much. Let's go again, uh, plane, direction, and let's go with 0 0.2. And I will see that it will grow up like this. Boom, beautiful. So, um, so that's, that's all we need for the definition. And now let's, let's uh, select all these curves. Uh, or actually select the geometry let's move it to another layer and let's hide that layer for now so so this is this is what we have and how do we how do we create this so let's go to grasshopper all right so so here is the the grasshopper definition 
Uh, this is just one uh, one uh, section of the church, uh, one base plan. Uh, since I, I will not do all of them, I'll just do one to show you the definition, and then I'll uh, proceed with uh, with rendering. Uh, so here, basically, the concept is let's uh, let's go back. So let's turn everything off, and we'll go step by step so that I can show you uh, what the procedure is. So uh, first. Let me just turn off all of this as well. Okay, so we have a curve uh, and we input that curve here. Just go set one curve and we have that curve. The next thing that we, we, we want to do uh, with that curve is uh, the goal. The goal of the definition would be to uh, randomly insert points on this edge so that so that they are not uh, uh, they're not in equal segments, but they're rather spread out throughout the line. So uh, in order to do this, we, we will use this uh, populate 2D component. But before using populate 2D, we need to, to uh, uh, give it a region. And in order to give it a region, like it cannot just go through curve like this directly, directly. Uh, let me show you if I go curve. And if I connect this curve, that's the same curve. So if I just put it here, uh, it will not work because it requires uh, it requires a square. So that's why we need to input this uh, bounding box uh, component. And what this actually does is it creates a rectangle out of this shape that we have out of this curve. So now uh, when I input this into here it will work because it will give it the area of influence that it needs okay so next thing would be to uh, populate to the uh, component so so now you can see that uh, this is actually um, there is there is random random uh, dots if I go to the top view here uh, you'll see that uh, there's a random uh, random uh, dots all over the place so for example if i increase this to let's say 25 it will it will randomly populate the whole the whole thing so uh, for now let's keep it for let's say 15 and so so what's what's the what's what's next what do we do next well now uh it's it's about those points we need to actually somehow tell them okay let's uh let's move to this curve and let's uh, let's populate these points on this curve so how do we do this uh, we do this by simply using uh, using the the command that it's called called uh, curve closest point and what this does is it says okay uh, this is a curve that we have and these are the points that we have so what is the the smallest shortest distance from this point to any other closest point on this curve and we just for that we just need that initial curve and we need those points and these points are actually the ones that are on the bottom here so once we turn on this command it will find as you can see these green ones it will find the closest uh, the closest uh, distance to this curve so for example uh, as you can see this point on the bottom is this point on the curve this point here is this point there uh, probably this point here in the middle is this point so and, and so on so you get the idea okay so now once we have this uh, points on the curve let's move on okay we can turn off these guys let me see yeah these guys okay so so we have those points on the curve the goal here is uh that we actually use these points and from those points extrude the, those small sub construction elements that we saw in uh, in the model so uh in order to, to create uh, a geometry out of a dot we actually need first to create a line so first we're going to create a line by simply uh uh, moving these dots 
uh, a little bit up by one uh, uh, by one uh, the distance that is already predetermined and then we're gonna connect those two dots so for example I have these dots here and I input it here into the move command and I say okay give me the motion of Z value so bring it up and bring it by 0 0.2 so it that's the result so now I have these two points once I have these two points I would like to, to, to make a line out of it so uh, we, we simply do this by using line command and once I, once I show you this, you will see that it's uh, it created a line for me. Here is the green line. Okay, so so far so far uh, uh, that's the result. The next thing would be uh, to actually create. Uh, now this this last part of the definition is uh, creating basically uh, creating a pipe type command but with the different kind of uh, uh, different kind of uh, sections so it's not actually a circle but it's actually a rectangle so in order in order to create piping with a rectangle we need to use this kind of uh, uh, definition here so at the end we have the sweep the sweep uh, one command and we have uh, sections as rectangles here uh, and in, for example, we, we don't even need to have the rectangle. We can have, let's say, polygon. We can have polygon instead of rectangle if we want. If if you want it to be triangle, it can be triangle. So whatever we want, it 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 it, it will work. But for example, uh, in this case, we need a rectangle as a base. So I'm gonna tell it, okay, uh, I need a rectangle as a section. And I gave uh, the dimensions of the rectangle. And here I said, okay, give me the perpendicular frames on on this uh, on this on this curve. So what this does is it, it creates uh, these frames that are telling in which direction should the piping go. So in this case, we, we need this uh, uh, a perpendicular frame so it goes up and then uh, once once we have that activated uh, when we turn on the rectangle you can see that here's the rectangle it it, it, it actually starts at the start of this uh, plane that we have so once we have that plane we just go with the sweep tool and voila easy as that and now we have this piping this uh, rectangular piping all over our line and that's what we wanted and of course at the end uh, we would like to cap it so this is the capped this is let me turn off okay so that's the final result so we need these guys we created these guys from from those dots that were first randomly distributed on the bottom and then now we brought it randomly here so let me just go back for a second and show you uh, what would happen if we change this number let's say we want 30 of these boom there you go we have 30 uh 30 uh boxes as construction elements so you can see it's it's quite it's quite quite interesting to play with this and um uh, that's that's basically the uh, the the definition um, that's basically how the definition works and how uh, we can create this for the whole church and now uh, let me just uh, add another another thing we're gonna hide these dots here and here so we just have these guys here and now for example let's say we want to create a little bit of thickness to this uh, curve so how do we do this if you check out here I input the curve here into the offset so basically this is just a simple offset command that allows me to offset my uh, my curve on on the outside and here on the top on the inside uh, as you can see I just use negative here to to bring it in so now I have these two curves what's next 
the next thing would be to 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 create a surface from those two curves so let's let's just hide this one for now we don't need it and we can hide this guy also so so we, we have these two curves and now how do we create a surface out of these two we use a boundary surface command and when we input boundary surface this is what we get we get the surface out of those two uh two offsetted lines that we did previously and now it's just simply uh extrusion we're using extrusion and we're extruding it below it, it or this means we are extruding it on z vector and we're extruding it negatively minus 0 0.1 and this is the this is the result that we're gonna get at the end so let's just bake this and see how it looks of course okay there you go so this is the this is the, the result and now of course uh this will happen to the whole structure and uh yeah hope you like this video and i'll show you the the result uh the final result here is the final rendering hope that you like it if you have any questions comments or suggestions please write them down in the comment section below this video and uh if you like this kind of tutorials please like and share and make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video.